I have a video to share that we as students of prophecy have been watching for for the last few years. And actually, we've already seen this some time ago, but this is one major step towards the mark of the beast. And so I pray you listen closely. The Chinese government recently started a social scoring system back in April of this year that will prevent the people from buying certain things that if they are found to be misbehaving in any way, the government decides is inappropriate. And what sparked it has been reported in other articles that we know are regarding the prophetic reasons the Vatican's Muslim refugees have been invading China and other nations all around the world. This so-called refugee situation allows for things to escalate to the point the governments have no choice but to set up things to assure an easy way of controlling the people, which in turn guarantees a way for them to enforce the mark of the beast against people they eventually deem are acting inappropriately for refusing to keep Sunday holy. And get this, just last week, and by the way, this is what we were watching for to see if others are going to follow China's lead, Facebook announced they too will be using a similar scoring system as a way to curb what they deem to be inappropriate activity, or fake news as they call it, when in fact what they really mean is they're going to ban anyone speaking truth about what's really going on out there. And if you notice, on both accounts, the dying god of this world was able to prompt both the Chinese government as well as Facebook into thinking their power is threatened to the point of moving them to push ahead on a scoring system that the man of sin can and will use in the very near future when it comes to his mark. That all being said, I'm going to play a short video here of the news report regarding China's social scoring system wherein they are literally banning people from buying everything from plane tickets, cars, real estate, and even high-speed internet simply because the government claims they're misbehaving. And as you watch this video, think on how easily this very same social scoring system can be used in any nation on earth, on or offline, to ban people from buying and selling because they claim them to be misbehaving for refusing to keep Sunday holy. After the man of sin in Rome and his dying God claiming to be Jesus Christ on earth put forth the long prophesied papal mandate to keep Sunday holy as their mark of loyalty to them. Check this out. Good morning. The government here says it is trying to purify society by rewarding those who are trustworthy and punishing those who are not. So like the credit score that most Americans get for how they handle their finances, Chinese citizens are now getting social credit scores based on everything from whether they pay their taxes on time to how they cross the street. When Liu Hu recently tried to book a flight, he was told he was banned from flying because he's on the list of untrustworthy people. Leo was a journalist who was ordered by a court to apologize for a series of tweets he wrote and was then told his apology was insincere. I can't buy property. My child can't go to private school, he says. You feel you're being controlled by the list all the time. And the list is now getting longer, as every Chinese citizen is being assigned a social credit score, a fluctuating rating based on a range of behaviors. It's believed that community service and buying Chinese-made products can raise your score. Fraud, tax evasion, and smoking in non-smoking areas can drop it. If a score gets too low, a person can be banned from buying plane and train tickets, real estate, cars, and even high-speed internet. It's a good thing, this woman says. There should be punishment for people who can't behave. China's growing network of surveillance cameras makes all of this possible. The country already has an estimated 176 million cameras, and it plans to have more than 600 million installed by 2020. It can recognize more than 4,000 vehicles. Xu Li is the CEO of SenseTime, one of China's most successful artificial intelligence companies. It has created smart cameras for the government that can help catch criminals, but also track average citizens. This knows every person, every bike, every car, every bus. You can tell whether it is an adult, a child, a male or female. In several big cities in China, including here in Shanghai, the government is even tracking jaywalkers. Cameras record them going through intersections, zero in on their face, and then publicly shame them on nearby video screens. Ken Dewaskin has studied China's economic and political culture for more than three decades. He says how the new scoring system truly works is kept secret and could be easily abused by the government. How far into people's daily mundane activities does this go? 
Well, I think that the government and the people running the plan would like it to go as deeply as possible to determine how to allocate benefits and also how to uh, impact and shape their behavior. Now, there are upsides for people the Chinese government considers trustworthy. They can actually get better interest rates at banks. They can get discounts on their energy bills. And China's largest online dating site reportedly even boosts the profiles of people with high social credit scores. Nora? Thank you for watching. God bless.